All right, everybody. I've been, uh, yeah, my blood's still on there. I haven't washed off. It's pretty cool, huh? By the way, stitches, there they are. They'll be coming out in a day or two. It's actually, uh, well, shit. Let's see here. Can we focus? Oh, focus up. It's actually pretty well here. Oh, fuck, dude. It's the lighting. It's the lighting. Hold on. Let's see here if we can. Can we? Dude, I don't know. It's fucking stupid, dude. But maybe if I... There you go. Look at that. It's kind of healed up. There you go. The stitches will be out in a couple days. Ain't no thing. You know? Uh, so anyway, yep. Yeah, that's still my blood. Uh, I wanted to do this video because I see a lot of people talking shit about these knives, right? Uh, they're always talking shit about hidden knives. And it's like, dude, I really think that you people who talk this kind of shit have never really fucking used one. Uh... It's kind of ridiculous to hear the shit that comes out of people's mouths when I've done shit to this blade and it's like, dude, how the fuck, what are you doing that makes it break like that? Like, are you fucking stupid when you use it? I don't know. I'm going to pause this for a second and I'm going to show you guys uh, what we're going to be doing here. A lot of people, well, I can explain it now before I pause it, but a lot of people, so they take the knife apart, it's held together, it's full tang. Uh, it's kind of like a rat tail configuration that goes through here, but it gets screwed into here. Um... And you can just take the whole thing apart. But I'm going to take it apart. I'm going to show you this so you understand what everyone's talking about. Alright, so I took this bolt out. As you can see, the knife is already starting to come apart. Uh, that's the bolster right there. Glue. Lots of glue. That's alright though. It's got to hold this weird space together. That's what it's for. Uh, because you can't use wood glue to hold metal to wood so they have this weird little spacer i mean i believe that's what it for what it's for it could be aesthetic i don't know um fuck dude doing this all one-handed is stupid oh here we go here we go that's coming off pretty easily there we go all right all right okay so here we have the blade in its entirety okay now what everyone gives it a lot of shit for is the fact that yes it does have a very defined tang and it could be full tang but this screw this bolt here is just soldered like welded you see that in the light right there it's just welded right in there and a lot of people are like you know if it breaks if it cracks you're fucked. Uh, this is what holds the whole knife together. If this snaps, you know, anywhere right here, your whole blade can fly off your knife. Okay. Now, people say that can happen. Um, I just want to say, like I said, are you stupid? Like, how, how do you make that happen? I just put this through a field test and chopped down eight saplings about, like, Seven of which were maple. Maple's no joke. The other one, I don't know what, it was a hardwood. We only have hardwoods at camp, but I don't know what the other one was. But they're all hardwoods, dude. It went through those, didn't break, no burrs, nothing on the blade. Chopped almost through my whole finger. You can see that right there. Like, I almost lost a finger. And this still is on there. Fun. There's no cracks like people talk about. Like, yeah, there's a little bit of a... And if you look here, there's like a little bit of space right there, but that's just where they welded it, you know? But there's no, everyone's like, oh, it's cracked, it's broken. I don't see any cracks on mine, dude. It's fine. It's all right, man. Like, this is a perfectly fine knife to use as a survival knife. You can use it out in the field. You can chop live trees with it. You can chop dead trees with it. You can kill things with it. It fucking cuts flesh like no problem. Um... I don't know, I threw it at logs. The one thing I didn't do with it was, you know, try to fucking hit it with sledgehammers. I didn't throw it at rocks. I didn't fucking swing it around at metal poles like a fucking idiot. I don't know what you people do to these knives that makes them break so easily, but I have never had a problem with mine. I don't know, maybe you people just don't know how to use knives, or maybe you're just so used to using knives that are name brand and top quality that you don't know how to treat a knife. Like, you just expect that every knife is never going to break, and that's not the way it works. I don't know. I mean, I could be wrong in saying this, but I just think, like, people who give Hibben knives shit are stupid. It, 
it blows my mind. I really put this thing through a lot, and it held up, dude. It impressed the shit out of me, and I will put it up against any knife. I will say that myself. I'll put my knife up against any knife that anybody has. I think, like, I mean, as long as we're not throwing it at fucking rocks and shit, I'm game. I'll take the challenge. See ya.